Hey guys, welcome. Thanks so much for joining me in today's video. I'm going to be ranking my holiday face palettes from worst to best. If you want to find out what those are, just keep on watching. Alrighty friends, let's begin. I'm very excited because I am going to be doing a ton of rankings videos. Holiday products are already out. Most of them are. So I thought let's begin with our rankings videos. I'm going to be doing eventually eyeshadows, face products, holiday things, holiday as a whole a lot of rankings videos so i thought face palettes were one of the more exciting ones in my opinion i love face palettes because they're just so easy to use you get you know multiple products into one and you can really judge from formulation in a brand and all that good stuff so i thought let's begin with some face palettes and sadly ranking at number five which is my least favorite one is this one by Charlotte Tilbury my dear friend Charlotte this is her palette in nude gasm and this is the inside of the palette and what it looks like in here we get a super glow a multi glow a super sculpt and a soft sculpt so this is a quick look of the shades that you get in the palette this is the super glow then the other glow product and the two deeper contouring products. So this palette is ranking so low in my opinion because it just needs another deeper palette. Like that's the bottom line. It has a, her beautiful formulation that we saw a couple years from her Glow Gas and palettes, but she's released two at that time. Here we only got one. This is all you get. Just make it work and it's just not enough. It's not gonna cut it. I feel like this is a beautiful highlighter, but this is just such a light 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 blush i really really have to pack it on and i'm only a medium shade so could you imagine it's not gonna work for deeper complexions and then these two shades are okay but again i just have to build and build and build and find the best brush to make it work because it was just a ton of building up and it's just frustrating you know i wish that she's just released two palettes you know give us more and then i'll be happy and then this will be ranking so much higher but because we only have one palette from this line I feel like this is not a good holiday release this ranks at number five next up ranking at number four we've got this one by Hourglass and by the way I have reviews on all these products if you want to take a look just type I'll try to link I always forget but Type my name, type the product, and you'll be able to find it. This is Universe Unlocked by Hourglass, and this is a beautiful palette. Okay, I have a very, very mixed feelings about this palette. I've got use out of this palette now for a month or so after I reviewed it. Um, I was a little frustrated with this palette because of the bronzer in here. Um, it's just too light. It's even lighter than the bronzer in the lighter palette. So to me, it just it didn't make any sense. You know, this being the deepest palette, I mean, I want a deep bronzer, but they just couldn't give it to us. They just couldn't. And the other products, I just love. I love this finishing powder. I love these blushes. I love this highlighter, but it's just like, why, why? <laughs> Such a light bronzer, please give me more. So that's why this is ranking in number four. I love Amiel Lighting Powders by Hourglass. I mean, it's just the bottom line with them. You just, you just look flawless and beautiful. Um, but again, I'm just frustrated with this bronzer. Look at it, it just looks like a highlighter. So it, it shouldn't be in here in the deeper palette in my opinion, and that's why this is ranking at four. It is a beautiful palette. I just wish that the bronzer was a little darker. Coming on number three, we have some Pat McGrath. And all these products, by the way, I needed to mention that I love, to be honest. I only don't love Charlotte's, but four, like four, three, two, and one, I love. I absolutely adore. I just had to put a number to it, right? So it comes down to that, but this is ranking in number three. This is Pat McGrath Palette in Divine Blush Glow Trio in the shade Amber Allure. I love this palette, you guys. I love her bronzers. I love the shades that she shows for this palette. Like, look at this cinnamon shade of blush. 
is everything and then i just adore i adore this highlighter such a beautiful formulation such beautiful blushes in here i love this highlighter just so much i, I just can't get enough of it uh, this shade is only exclusive to this palette and this palette is limited edition so if you also liked the highlighter like i do i do recommend you pick out this palette because it's a keeper i'm going to apply because i don't have a lot of highlighter today um here it's just such a beautiful rose gold shade it's so unique to my collection and i've got a lot of highlight um so when i tell you that this is unique it is just stunning i love it the blushes look scary but if you go light-handed don't be scared um they're beautiful the formulation is so blurring stunning they last a good time on your cheeks this is a beautiful palette beautiful palette she's released two shades a lighter and a deep one i only have the deep i'm still you know debating in i need the light one but anyhow this i love is ranking in number three ranking in number two is my beloved patrick top palette and these oh, i'm so sad it comes with a flap that it's going to protect your blushes and I I just I don't I dropped it um, I'm a very clumsy person and now I'm pregnant so I'm extra clumsy and so I dropped it and it broke so sad anyhow this is his palette it is his major headline blush palette again if you wanted a review on these products just go ahead and look for it you can see application swatches and everything in here i'm doing some swatches but mainly i'm concentrating on this uh, you know on the number but this is one of my favorite shades from this palette these are just so so pretty together like they just work you apply the powder and then you apply the cream unheard of but patrick todd genius he gave us that and even if you do that like it just sounds crazy you apply the powder and then the cream it just it just works like his formula is amazing um it never looks patchy it never looks like too much it is such a beautiful i don't know such a beautiful palette i love this pink it's so so pretty um these two are my fave this is just okay um it is sort of like a berry shade but for someone with deep complexion i think this is going to be beautiful um, and i love that i love that truly this palette anyone could use i feel like if you are and i have seen deep complexion you know um girls using this palette and it just looks absolutely stunning so thank you patrick Ta, for giving us color thank you for giving us enough variety so that we can all use it thank you thank you thank you such a keeper such a keeper is also limited edition so get you ranking in number one hello number one we have a miss natasha denona and i couldn't i couldn't decide if i like the light if i like the deep oh my god these are making <laughs> my lights go crazy i just can't tell you which one i like most these palettes are everything uh, I just love them. I again, I did a review on them. These are beautiful. I, I love that you get eyes and a chicks product all in one. It's just so easy to carry. It's so easy to bring. Her packaging, this packaging killed it. I love the um, you know the shape of this palette. It just looks so sleek and pretty. I love that the deep is deeper. The light is lighter in the outer packaging. It is fingerprinty. I do not mind. I love. I love this packaging. I've been using the light. A ton of you liked the light on me, which I was surprised because I thought 100% the deep is for me, right? But no, you, a ton of you said that the light one was a better suit for me. And I don't know, I don't think you're wrong. I think both are just so complementary to my medium complexion. I feel like both just work so pretty. She added this new eyeshadow formula in this palette, which makes this palette so, so worth it. It's pretty much like having fire rose from charlotte in a face palette 
yeah, I know. So anyhow, if you an in that review, you know, side by side, go check out my video. I'll try to link it. But yeah, this is the light one. And again, you get a blush and a highlighter and then all these eye shades in here. And then this is the deep one. I cannot pick my fave from the two. So that's why they're both ranking in number one as a holiday release from Natasha. I think that she killed these palettes. She killed the formula. I just adore them. I am so happy that I've gotten two, like, you know, the light and deep. Um, at the beginning, I was just only going to get deep because, I mean, that's what I figured it would work for me. But I'm so happy and content with both of them that, that I can get enough. So, um, yeah, these guys are ranking in number one. All right, friends, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what do you think of this rankings video. Did you agree? disagree any comments anything at all just leave them below any other rankings that you wanted me to, to do that you want to see any video ideas just drop 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 comments in my description box and so much you guys for love and support don't forget to share like and subscribe and i'll catch you next time